back. Yankees.com.com.com. This is an example of the majority of what the keys are on there, like this size right here. And what you have underneath is this plastic scissor hinge that's attached to the key underneath. So what you're actually doing is you're separating this hinge from that key when you actually slide the tool underneath. So if I, let me see if I can give you a side view of this. You can kind of see that right there, how it drops right there. So what you're actually doing when you're separating the two, is you're taking this tool and you're sticking it inside this little fold right here. And then when you press in, that snaps that right off. So that's why it's important to go in on the actual sides of it and to think that that fold will be somewhat centered in that key. So if you slide your toothpick, paper clip, or whatever it might be, think that you need to remain in the center of this key. We're going to remove the slash key right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your first tool, stick it underneath the bottom of the key, and you're going to slightly pry it open like you're trying to peek inside of a pizza box. Take your second tool, place it over here on the left side of the key, and then you can remove the bottom tool. And now what we're going to do eventually once we hold this top part of the key is we're going to take this tool and slide it to the right. And what that's going to do is that's going to separate this key from the plastic scissor hinge that's underneath. So let's give that a shot. And now I'm going to slide it over to the right. It seems to be catching on something. There we go. So we've removed the key. Now we're going to remove the scissor hinge. And how you do that is you take your tool, put it on top of the rubber cup right there, and then underneath, the actual plastic hinge and then just pry it back slowly and gently. Mine slips, try again. There we go. So now you can just take your fingers and then you can push back on it till it comes right out. Now you're going to get your replacement hinge, scissor hinge. You're going to notice you've got a tapered part towards the top and a wider part towards the bottom. And that corresponds to how it will actually go into this keyhole. So let's start with putting the bottom in first. Just drop it in like that and you'll feel it catch on the two little metal pins. And then you can let go of it. Should fall right into place. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna push down on the top until it clicks. There we go. Now you've installed your scissor hinge. Now get your replacement slash key. Just drop that on the top there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to push down on this key until the four clips underneath it take hold. And sometimes you have to wiggle your finger around to get them to actually all take. Oh, that one worked really well. And there you go. You have installed your slash key. Back. Yankees.com.com.com.